Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series, where I predict how every men's college basketball tournament will play out as I go round by round and pick winners based on my projections. Next up is the MVC Conference. And before I get to my predictions, I'm going to look back on my preseason predictions to see how I did compared to how it actually played out. In first place, I had Missouri State. They came in sixth. Second place, I had Northern Iowa, who came in first. Third place, I had Bradley, who came in fourth. Fourth place, I had Lilia Chicago, who came in second. Fifth place, I had Illinois State, who came in ninth. Sixth place, I had Indiana State, who came in third. Seventh, I had Drake, who came in eighth. Eighth, I had Evansville, who finished in last. Ninth, I had Valparaiso, who finished in seventh. And tenth, I had Southern Illinois, who finished in fifth. All right, and now without further ado, the predictions for the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, which begins tonight, and it'll be held at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri. First round begins tonight, 7 o'clock ESPN Plus, 9 seeded Illinois State versus 8 seeded Drake. Illinois State 10 and 20 on the year, 5 and 13 in conference play. Drake 18 and 13 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. The pick, Drake, as I have them projected as a 7 point favorite. Tonight, 9 30 on ESPN Plus, number 10 seeded Evansville versus 7 seeded Valparaiso. Um, Evansville 9 and 22 on the year, 0 and 18 in conference play. Valpo 16 and 15 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. The pick, Valparaiso, as I have them a projected 12 and a half point favorite. Quarterfinals tomorrow afternoon, 12 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. Number 8, Drake versus 1 seed in Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa, 25-5 and five on the air, 14-4 in conference play. The pick, Northern Iowa, as I have them projected as a 9.5 point favorite. 5 seed in Southern Illinois versus 4 seed in Bradley, 230 ESPN+. Plus. Southern Illinois, 16-15 on the year, 10-8 in conference play. Bradley, 20-11 on the year, 11-7 in conference play. The pick, Bradley, as I have them as a projected 3 point favorite. 7 seeded Valparaiso versus 2 seeded Loyola Chicago, 7 o'clock ESPN Plus tomorrow night. Loyola Chicago, 21 and 10 on the year, 13 and 5 in conference play. The pick, Loyola Chicago, as I have them projected as a 6 point favorite. 9 30 ESPN Plus tomorrow night, 6 seeded Missouri State versus 3 seeded Indiana State. Missouri State, 15 and 16 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. Indiana State, 18 and 11 on the year, 11 and 7 in conference play. The pick, Indiana State, as I have them projected as a 4 point favorite. The semifinals. Four seeded Bradley versus one seeded Northern Iowa. Saturday, March 7, 3.30 CBS Sports Network. The Braves made the big dance last season and had another solid season this year as well, but the Panthers are the better team here. So the pick is Northern Iowa's. I have them projected as a four-point favorite. Or, I'm sorry, a six-point favorite. Six o'clock on the CBS Sports Network. Three seeded Indiana State versus two seeded Loyal Chicago. This will be a fun matchup between two very good teams from this conference. I'm going to take the Ramblers here to move on in a close one. So the pick is Loyola Chicago. And the championship, I have two-seeded Loyola Chicago versus one-seeded Northern Iowa. Two o'clock on CBS. This is going to be a fun game between the best two teams in this conference so it'll be really fun to see these teams go head to head the season the ramblers won a close game the last time around and this time around i see the panthers winning a close game led by aj green so the pick is northern iowa and i have them projected to be favored by three and a half as I have Northern Iowa representing the Missouri Valley Conference in the NCAA tournament. I think that Northern Iowa has to win this game for them to make the tournament. If they lose before um, the title game, let alone in the title game, I think that they'll be sent to the NIT. So I think there's a little bit of pressure on them to win this tournament. Next up, is the West Coast Conference.